Freedom, today I want to talk to you about VidCon. Now, after I got back from VidCon, I was sick. That's why a lot of this content is delayed a little bit. Plus, we've got some other Freedomies type stuff coming up in the next few days, so keep an eye out for that. So without me yammering on too much more, I wanted to talk to you about one of our partners who did an interview with George. Dealer4519 did an interview with George uh, at a hotel room there at VidCon, and we're gonna share it with you. I was in the room, helped film it, we got two different camera angles, hopefully it should look kinda cool. So, like I said, without further ado, Dealer4519 and her interview with George Venus. Hi George, it's Hi, so Debbie. good to meet you. Likewise. Okay, listen, I, I belong to the Freedom Community team, and you are the founder of Freedom. And we have some questions that we'd like you to clear up. Um, if you would, could you tell us like what was going on, where you were born, where you're from, and you know, because it, it sort of created who you are. And. I would like to know just a little bit about your younger years up to college, and then maybe where you went to college. Well, I was born in Slovakia, which is a small country in Europe, for those who don't know. And then I came to Canada in 1981, when my parents emigrated. So I was about five years old, six years old at the time. Grew up in Vancouver, Canada, went to school there, went to college there, a place called Simon Fraser University, SFU, and uh, worked in the U.S. for a couple of years, uh, traveled to Taiwan where I met my future wife. Really? And uh, ended up doing a few businesses that failed until I found one that worked, which was freedom. Yes. Freedom. Freedom. There's a rumor on Facebook that you met your wife online. Is this true? Studypond.com. Really? Sadly, the website's no longer up, but it's a language exchange site. When I was traveling to Taiwan, I wanted to learn some English, so I looked up English teachers in Chinese, or Chinese teachers exchanging English, and uh, she was on that site, she had a profile saying, hey, I'm a student at a university looking to teach, in, teach Chinese to English speakers. So that's why I met her. Chinese is second language. Yes. And then, that, this begs the question, born in Slovakia, you worked in America, lived in Canada, now you live in the Philippines, and you just said you learned Chinese. How many languages do you speak? I don't really speak Chinese except a few phrases, but I speak English and Slovak. Slovak is my mother tongue, but I now use English grammar when I speak Slovak. So the people who know Slovak will laugh at my <laughs> expressions, yeah. but I can understand it and I can communicate well enough. But, uh, you know, English is my primary. Well, English is pretty much an important language in every country you've been in, so I can imagine. But your native tongue would be the Slovak, and that would be. Um, if you could offer just one piece of advice for those of us who uh, volunteer for freedom, for those of us who um, want to help you and your company grow, what would that be? The biggest thing that I find people do is quit because it gets hard or because they lose their passion. Well, if you lose your passion, you should follow your passion. And certainly, if your passion changes, then you should stop and follow your passion. But assuming your passion stays with video, with creators, with creating content and sharing it with the world, then never give up. Uh, the whole point of freedom is that it's meant to be a family that helps each other grow together. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. Oh, just once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> and so the only way that would fail is if you give up. And I hope that we, who are, who are helping you, embody that. I hope that we, and if you ever find we don't, I know we'll let you'll let us know, but I hope that our comments to other YouTubers and the way we try to help them, I hope that that is the way you want us to respond. Very good, yes, I love the comments. Uh, I read them every day and I think uh, I couldn't say it better, than, better myself. There's something I have to say. Ibby, this is for you. Ash, this is for you. Leonor, this is for you and the entire Freedom Community team. 
I am honored to have met George. And this is what you asked for? And I hope this makes you happy. I'm signing off on my way to VidCon. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. For those of you still with us, thank you so much for sitting through the entire interview. I am very glad and very proud to have this interview on this channel because Dealer4519 is part of the community team here at Freedom. So yeah, if you have ever been to a convention and or interviewed anybody cool or interesting, let us know in the comment section down below. Also I want to know what is your convention, your, your, your convention uh, strategy, like uh, you know, what is it that you go to to get your value out of conventions in general. Let us know in the comments section down below. I will be sharing mine hopefully in the next few days or maybe a couple of weeks uh, so that you can understand how I got value not only for myself but for freedom out of this convention. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other.